You're still watching Roots TV Nigeria. So Nigerian President Mohamed Bari on Thursday, the 18th of April 2019, signed into law an increase by two-thirds to the minimum wage in Africa's most populous country. It raises the minimum wage from 18,000 naira a month to 30,000 naira. Now, many Nigerians struggle to make ends meet amid rising living costs with inflation in Africa's leading oil producer nudging 11.5%. Now, more than 87 million of Nigeria's 190 million people live in extreme poverty on less than $2 a day. Minimum wage basically means the lowest salary permitted by law or agreed upon following the negotiations between the labor union and government. Excitingly, the payment of the 30,000 naira to workers would begin immediately. Now, the new law makes it compulsory for all employers of labor in Nigeria to pay to their workers the sum of 30,000 naira. The law, however, excludes persons who are employing less than 25 workers, persons who work in a ship which sails out of the jurisdiction, and other persons who are in other kinds of regulated employment which are accepted by the Act. Now, the last increase was in 2011, when wages were more than doubled from 7,500 naira to 18,000 naira. The law also mandates the National Salaries, Incomes and Wages Commission and the Minister of Labour to be the chief and principal enforcers of the provisions of the Act. In 1981, the NLC clamoured for a minimum wage of 300 naira. Now, that was when the Shil Shagari led administration refused to pay this amount. Labour called for a nationwide strike that paralysed the economy. Between 1989 to 2001, the minimum wage went from 250 naira to 3,000 naira and from 5,000 naira to 7,500 naira. But in 2010, the then President Goodluck Jonathan increased the nation's minimum wage to 18,000 naira. In a final analysis, Nigeria's minimum wage is often a no win situation for everyone. However, this may be one win for Nigerian workers. Stay here on Roots TV Nigeria for more updates. I am Itogi Mo, Edit.